I realize this is an extremely unpopular opinion to admit publicly, but I sue me, but I, I really like and respect Jake Paul half from the start. Yet it became very clear to me that I, I don't know, 90% of the world wanted to see Mike Tyson shut Jake Paul's mouth by knocking his head off. I believe a whole, whole lot of white people wanted to see Jake Paul get his from a 58 year old Mike Tyson, who surely they thought could reach deep down for that natural born killer still deep down inside Mike Tyson and catch old Jake the Snake with one blast from the past that would de-beard him live on Netflix. But Jake Paul knew that was not going to happen. Jake Paul sometimes acts like a goofy kid, but he's very smart. Very clever, very creative. He's sneaky athletic. He is fearless. He is tough. He has surrounded himself with equally smart people in business and in boxing. And he has made a whole lot of money because so many people don't buy him and don't like him and view him as a villain or as a heel, as in wrestling heel, as he called himself before the Tyson fight. So the billion-dollar irony here is, trust me on this, Jake Paul is actually a very nice guy, a, a good guy, a, dare I say, a likable guy. There's not an ounce of 20-something Tyson deep down inside Jake Paul. There's no crazed natural-born killer in Jake Paul, which ultimately could limit just how far he'll be able to go in boxing. I predicted Jake would withstand any early onslaught from Mike, but that Mike would not be in the shape required to go more than, you know, two all-out two-minute rounds, and that Jake would toy with him the last six rounds, but honor Mike Tyson by taking it easy on Mike Tyson. He would pay respect to Mike Tyson's legacy by refusing to go in for the kill and knock him out. There is no cold-blooded killer in Jake Paul. He could have embarrassed the man who, who really hasn't been Iron Mike since he was 21 years of age. Could have even hurt 50-year-old, 58-year-old uh, Mike. But that's not what Jake Paul is made of. That's not the kind of content he wants to create. There's more Disney in Jake Paul than you first think. So now Jake Paul has brilliantly choreographed his next move because he's always two moves ahead of all of his customers. Conor McGregor, like Tyson, an internationally controversial lightning rod. Here comes Jake Paul versus Conor McGregor, who to me is washed up at age 36. Or as LeBron likes to say, he's just washed. Uh, Conor McGregor did box, as you well remember, Floyd Mayweather Jr., but that was more than seven years ago, seven years and three months ago. He did have Floyd in trouble in the corner in the ninth round of that bout until the ref saved Floyd, who did finally put away Conor in the tenth round. That's a long time ago. Conor that night earned, I, I don't know, I've read so many different reports. He, he earned set for life money, 30, 40, 50 million. And Conor McGregor lost his stomach for getting smashed in the face in the octagon. But hey, boxing a YouTuber for another $50 million? Bring it on, says Conor, who I believe will get pounded even worse than he did against Floyd. Way worse. And by the way, Conor did put up, then delete a very disgusting tweet that I will not repeat as he attempts to early hype a fight in his whatever $50 million payday because that is what he's made of versus what Jake Paul is made of. Conor McGregor is truly a bad boy. Jake Paul is a problem child with quotes around it. 
But Jake Paul has turned himself into, I'll just go this far, a decent fighter, a savvy, cagey ring strategist who can punch a little, and he can definitely take a punch. <laughs> Jake is just way too big for Conor McGregor. Jake weighed almost 230 pounds for Tyson. He went up a bit in beef. Conor at best can go, what, 170? Conor is, what, 5 feet 9 inches tall? Jake is 6'1". What am I missing here? Now, Conor can punch too or strike, as they say in UFC, but, but I'm talking about he can little man punch. He will get overwhelmed by Jake's height and weight and reach and strength and skill and stamina. Jake Paul works hard. Jake is extremely dedicated to this craft. And Jake, by the way, is getting extremely battle-tested under the biggest, brightest lights. Brighter they are, better he is. He is clutch. You got to give him that. So will you buy Conor McGregor versus Jake Paul? Okay, it doesn't have the <clears throat> magic formula of black versus white that McGregor, Mayweather, and Paul Tyson did. But here you'd have dueling bad boys, villain versus villain, even though one is way more of a villain than the other. And again, I ask, what else is there in boxing to get excited about and look forward to right now? If this were the era of Ali and Frazier and Foreman or of Leonard and Hagler and Hearns, I lived through them. I was there. I covered them. Most fans would be laughing at this YouTuber. But now this YouTuber has everybody's attention because so little else does. Admit it. You enjoyed yourself Friday night, even though you were ultimately deflated by the quote-unquote fight. You enjoyed the buildup. You enjoyed the day-long anticipation. That's what it's all about. Will Mike Tyson shut him up? It was a spectacle. It felt epic until it didn't. As I concluded in my live stream right after Paul Tyson, Jake Paul's end game is Canelo Alvarez. That's what he told me the first time I talked to him, maybe, I'm losing track, four years ago. Now, I doubt Jake will ever be able to toe-to-toe -to -toe box with Canelo, but, but again, remember, Canelo is only 5 feet 7 inches tall, 170 pounds. Jake Paul is 6'1 and weighed almost 230 for Tyson, though he could easily drop 15 or 20 pounds and maintain his strength and certainly stamina. So I'm guessing Jake will probably let the current 34-year-old Canelo become the 36-year-old, maybe 36 or 37-year-old Canelo, and then try to catch Canelo on the way down. Jake Paul wins most of his fights before he ever sets foot in the ring. He wins by selecting the perfect opponent at the perfect time. He wins by matchmaking more than actually fighting. I, I'm sorry, but I'm in awe of what Jake Paul has achieved coming from nowhere. I find Jake Paul impossible to hate. Then again, I, I didn't want to see Tyson shut him up because I knew Tyson couldn't. <laughs>